Hello! Last time you saw me cutting the boards to the right length. And I also started to cut the fingers for the finger joints. Here I'm using a box that I will show you later in another video. I'm cleaning up the fingers a little with my chisel. And then I'm using my router to get a very nice clean and flat surface on the inside of my finger joints. I rearrange the boards very carefully so that they will fit together later on. I clamp the boards together and check that they are square. I don't really use a jig for my finger joints, I just take the time and measure the fingers myself. Basically I am taking the same steps that I did on the other side. I am cutting the slots with the table saw, clean them up with a chisel and use my hand router for the insides. Here I am checking how the pieces will fit together and if the fingers actually fit. I'm working out some small kinks with a file. I'm putting the pieces together with a hammer. As you can see it works fairly nicely because the wood is so soft so it just forms together quite nicely. Okay so um, I messed up. I did a couple of mistakes that almost got me to rebuild this whole thing but rather than doing that I'm going to save what I have here. The first thing I did wrong was that I took the outside measurements of my final dimensions and measured the fingers inwards. What I should have done is measured the inside measurements and added more to the outside so I could cut these fingers down. As it is right now they are they are a little bit too short and under the surface of the boards. I don't like that. So I'm gonna have to sand something, some material off of this surface here. Another thing I did wrong was I took the wrong measurements for the height all in all. I could have made this thing about 5 cm smaller and I would, I would like that very much. So I'm gonna cut these pieces uh, shorter and make new finger joints. Finally, I undercut these joints here in the hopes that the fingers would get tighter together. But in the end, it's just really ugly on the outside. And I'm gonna have to add a trim or something like that to the sides. Also, the boards I bought came already 20 centimeters, and 20 centimeters is the final measurement I need. And I trusted that these boards were exactly parallel and rectangular. But they were slightly off and when cutting these boards down so I would have a nice, a nice uh, edge here. The boards shifted a little and now they, they are not on the same plane on the outside edges. I'm gonna have to hand plane one surface down to a perfect plane and then I can cut the boards on the other side. I will have to add a trim on the back side so I will have the right depth of my box. So let's do this. I'm shortening the side boards. Mark the new fingers and cut the joints on the table saw. Once again I clean the joints up with a chisel and put the pieces back together. With my hand plane I plane down the edges so that they are on one plane. I'm using the plane sides as a reference edge on the table saw. Here I'm cutting the strips for the trim out of a darker wood. The 
two woods contrast very nicely. For the glue up this time I'm using a standard wood glue and not the express glue because I need the extra time to correctly clamp the pieces together. I'm checking for squareness and uh, I'm using a clamp diagonally to force it back into shape. Once the first side is dry, I can glue the second side. For making a trim, I'm marking the correct length of the inside on the trim pieces. I'm cutting the pieces on the table saw with the table saw sled set to 45 degrees and I'm basically making something like a picture frame. I'm gluing the pieces on and I'm using some painter's tape to keep the pieces in place. Thanks for watching.